out They screaming peace when there ain't no peace Israel prophesying in the streets Look at me, the center of attention Black Messiah coming with a vision Coming with a vision Black Messiah coming with a vision They screaming peace, it ain't no peace We prophesying in the streets We seeking peace in the streets of Babylon Brandison, Glock 40, tucking heat like a carry on Sinning against the fathers, got me sleeping, not napping on Christ the King revealed, that's Ario phenomenon Kick it against the bricks, lose your soul when that fire come We purified, better than gold, got my Bible on And that's all that I know, where Babylon Don't fall, watch it blow, ayy Switching it up, the nation's gon' drink it, I'm talking the cup Don't care what you thinking, believe in the gospel, the God is stinking The fires of heaven gon' gather for dinner, the eel of the flesh The wicked, the sinner, your mama, your sister, your daddy, your cousin If they is, if they mind, they don't repent they Your question. Say you, uh, what's your name again, brother? Eric? Eric, what's your name, bro? Azari? Azari or Kazari? Nazari. Nazari. Okay, Nazari, brother Eric. Let me ask you a question. What's your brother name on the, on the um, that's working with you? What's his name? Uh, Brian. Brian? So y'all work in landscaping, right? Say you come work, say you come work at somebody's house and it's an apple tree there. They say you don't mess with that apple tree, right? You don't mess with it. You cut around it. Trim everything out, got the yard looking good. You ain't messing with that apple tree. You come back two weeks later to cut their house on a routine cut, and that apple tree got rotten apples. It's dying, it's leaning over. What would you say? What happened to that tree? It's What happened to it? How it died? It had to be corrupted in some way, right? Because y'all spray weed killer, right? You, you, you spray weed killer. Well, you got some people that spray weed killer when they're doing, like, commercial businesses. They don't want uh, weeds coming up through the concrete in front of their business. So they have people come out and they'll spray it with weed killer, right? To do what? To stop it from growing naturally, right? So watch what God said about us. Give me Jeremiah 2, 21. Let me show you what God said about us. Because God planted us on this earth. And when I say us, I'm not talking about everybody on the planet earth. I'm talking about the children of Israel. When you look at this sign, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. We God's chosen people. God chose us to do something on this earth, and we haven't been doing it. Well, he planted us on the earth just like somebody planted that apple tree and it's supposed to grow apples. You come out there and growing oranges. You're like, that ain't what I planted this for. I planted this to grow apples, right? So watch what God says about us. Read. Because Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 21. Come on. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine. You ever, if you look up the word noble, it goes into special. God planted us as a special plant. This is why black folks good at everything. Name one thing we ain't good at. You teach us math, we good at it. You teach us language, we can speak five of them. Right. You teach us basketball, we dominate. Right. You give us a golf club, we take over. Right. You give us a hockey stick, we take that thing over. Right. Everything we do, we take over. Right. That's right. God made us noble. Noble means famous. Everywhere you go in the world, you see them whipping and nae -nae. I was in Africa just a few days ago. I was in Ghana, Africa. The brothers in Ghana, Africa, they work their pants hanging off their ass. Where they learn that from? Okay. They learn that from us here. Right. They see us on TV, boys in the hood, minister society. They see Young Thug, they see uh, Big Crit, they see these rappers, and they say, I want to be like that. Everybody idolize and glorify us, except us. That's why God said, look, when I planted y'all, y'all was supposed to be noble. We descend from kings. You heard that, right? We descend from kings. Guess who those kings are? The men you read in the Bible. Moses. King Solomon, King David, King Saul. They're my ancestors. The white man came and gave us... When he gave us the Bible, which we already had it, when he reintroduced it to us, he changed every picture in it to being white. So now when you read the Bible, you think about this. You close your eyes and think about Jesus, you think about a white man. He did that by design. That's why God said, look, when I first planted y'all, y'all was famous, y'all was noble, right? Watch this though, read. Wally, a right seed. And you was right, read. How then are that turned into a degenerate plant? He said, how then? Have you turned into a degenerate plant? What happened to us? If we the people of God, if we the royalty on the earth, what happened? How we end up in the hood? Why 12 year olds in our neighborhood like today? You heard about that? Just a few minutes ago, 12 year old little girl, get out of school, shot. What happened? Now, now our young brothers, look how they walk around in Jackson. All of them got a piece. Every last one of them got a nine millimeter, Smith and Wesson. Some of them got AR-15. 
M16 at 16. You got an M16 at 16. What the hell going on? God said, look, when I planted y'all, y'all was right. Now I turn my head, I look back, and what the hell? I didn't make y'all like this. What corrupted us, brother? What made us corrupt? What did what what had this happen to us? Why this happened to us? Why are we like we is now? Sin. Sin. When the pastor talk about sin, he talking to degrade you. Because he don't know what sin is. Right. Sin is our kryptonite. Romans 6.23. Bring it up, Cal. Sin is our kryptonite. Right. The white man eat pork. He ain't got high blood pressure. Right. Name one white man with high blood pressure. Right. Right. Name one. Name one white man that has ever in his life got scared when the police pulled up behind him. Right. When the police yeah. pull up behind them, they get out the car and say, what the hell is you pulling me over for? I know my rights. They talk shit to the police officer. They roll their window down and tell the police officer, bro, what you doing? Right. We would never do that. I seen a video last night. The brother said, I'm not putting my car apart because if I reach for my gear, y'all going to kill me. I'm not doing it. He made the police officer put his car apart for him. That's how scared we are. Right. But we used to be the kings. God said this right here. Read. Book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. Bring it out. For the wages of sin is death. God says, the way I'm going to punish y'all for y'all sins is death. That's why we die in Texas. Think about all the marching. Think about all the voting. Think about all the crying our ancestors did. All the pain, all the blood, all the sweat and the tears, all the cotton we pick, all the cooning our brothers be doing. Our brothers be cooning for that damn white man. Right. Anything he say, our brothers be on the football field cooning. I used to coon on the basketball court. It didn't matter how bad my, my uh, coach talked to me. I still go out there and run through a brick wall for him. Why? So I can get my family out the hood. We're making some money playing sports. Right. But how many of us go to the league? Less than 1%. They got us in a trick bag. And if you really want to do something, go and sell drugs or go and be a rapper. Everybody can't rap. We all ain't got that type of talent. Some of us can flow in a freestyle behind the gym bleachers. We, we ain't no damn Jay-Z or, or J. Cole. Chief, all of us ain't like that. Right. Right. So how are we supposed to get out? We all trying to chase the same cheese. That's right. right. We all trying to run through the same maze to try to get to the same prize. And how many of us fall short? Millions right. upon millions upon millions. God said it was because we sinned against him. That's right. right. This whole system set against us. I'll give you an example. Dylan Roof, you ever heard of him? The white boy that went into the, 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 the church in uh, North Carolina, I believe, or South Carolina, and shot, Nick, shot nine black folks with their back turned. He shot nine, that happened a couple years ago, and named Dylan Roof, you heard of him, bro? Dylan Roof, he went and shot nine black people in the back of the head. They took him to Burger King on the way to the jailhouse. Yeah, him. George Floyd supposedly had counterfeit money and they put their knee on his neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds till he died. That happened one year ago. Black folks done forgot about George Floyd. Ain't nobody talking about George Floyd right now. Right. We done forgot, bro. Why? Because God told us these things gonna happen because we his chosen people. Right. When you chosen to do something, you won't do. This God we talk about, he like, look, either y'all gonna do what I say, I'm gonna curse you. It is what it is. Watch this. Let me show you something. Zachariah 11.5. Bring it up. Let me show y'all brothers how y'all doing. Y'all been grinding today, huh? Okay, okay. Y'all getting it in. Let me show y'all something real quick. Watch what the Bible say. Read. Look at Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Listen to this. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. I'm out, I got a question for you. How many of these white men that hung us from trees, how many of you think went to jail? Bring it up. None of them. None of, them. None, none of these. The white man that killed us in slavery, the one that threw us off the side of the ship. How many of them went to jail? Right. How many of them been held accountable for? Bring it up. Nine damn one. Right. Uh, Tamir Rice, 12 years old, shot. You do know Emmett Till. Y'all heard of Emmett Till? Come on, you gotta know Emmett Till, bro. That's your home. This your home. You from Mississippi? This your home. Money, Mississippi. 1955. They killed a 14 year old boy, an old boy named Emmett Till. Or apparently whistling at a white woman. They beat his body till his skin peeled off and shot him dead, torturing him. Who went to jail? Ain't nobody going to jail, bro. And they bragged about doing it. The white woman that lied on him, she came out in the 2000s and said, yo, I actually lied. He really didn't whistle at me like that. 
She's still alive to this day. Her grandkids alive getting money. Her sons and daughters alive getting money. That's the same thing these people right here. These same people that threw us off the ship, that sold your mama, sold your grandmama. See what's wrong with us today? We don't know nothing about this type of struggle. This is a real struggle right here. When they come snatch your brother up, some of us do get our brother snatched up, but he ain't, he ain't got no chain around his neck no more. Now he got a number on his chest. 975-138724. That's his number. He only call him by his name. They say inmate 975-1824. Come to the front. Drop your drop your pants. Bend over and cough. They humiliate black men in prison. Right. That's the same thing right here. Slavery is abolished, brothers. You can't go to slavery no more unless you break a crime. Unless you break some type of American law, then right. they can put you back in slavery. It's called the right. 13th Amendment. Right. So how the hell is we free? Right. Show me freedom. You got a business? You got a business, bro? You got to pay taxes for your business every year. That's your money. Right. They ain't went and got up in no 6 a.m. and cut, cut no five-acre yard. Chop down trees. Weed eat it till they freaking fingers bleed. But then they take from your money. That's slavery, bro. Right. Our last thing. What's yours? What's your last name? Taylor? What's your last name, family? Harris? What's yours? 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 Who names are you? White folks' names. Right. We don't even know our name. 6515. Come, we're gonna come right back to Zachariah. I gotta show you this. Isaiah 65, 15. Let me show you what Bible say. The Bible got everything in it. We just ain't been taught. You go to church, you fall asleep. How many of you fall asleep in church? My grandma used to have to hit me with the mm. Grandma hit me with the cold elbow. Sean Kemp style, right in the side. I'm like, damn, what I do? Because I fall asleep in church, because it's boring in there. Right. They don't be teaching nothing. They just right. get up there and sing, and the pastor hoop, and then the plate come around. That's it. You don't learn nothing. You leave right. a body there feeling the same way as when you went, bro. Right, right or wrong. Then right. you get home, you might get a whooping because you fell asleep in that joint. Grandma got to bring candy to keep you up, keep you up at night. Come on, man. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 16. Come on, verse 15. Come come verse 15. Come on, come on. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. The Bible says you're going to leave your name for a curse. Go ahead. But the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. So guess what? They don't call you Israel no more. They call you Harris. They don't call you Israel no more. They call you Taylor. And all y'all last names, every last one of you brothers, your last name, stay with me, stay with me, brother. Stay focused for me for a minute. Stay focused, brothers. The Bible telling you they changed your name. Now you may think that don't mean nothing, but God ain't coming back for Harris's, nor Taylor's, nor my last name before I repented. You understand? He not coming for that. He coming for the children of Israel. Yes, this is who Christ coming for right here. Yes, now, watch this. Lift that sign up for me. Lift this sign up real quick. I got to show these brothers something. I'm going to educate y'all on something. Watch this. They don't call you by the name that God gave you no more. This your name right here. Israel. You know what I mean? It means a prince that got power with God. Right. This is why the black man jumping out the gym at 38 years old, 19 years in the league. LeBron jumping out the gym at 38? What the hell going on? Steph Curry shoot the ball. Defied gravity, just defied all kind of physics. Dude turn around and run it back down the court. Ball ain't even winning. He had half court, then the ball go through the net. You're like, what the hell going on? That's us. You know why? Because we great. These are the names God gave us. Judah, that means God's praise. Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Issachar, Naphtali. They took that from us and gave us these names. American, black, African, American. That's two white men. West Indian Black, Jamaican, Trinidadian, right? Guatemalan. These are names, Cuban, Puerto Ricans, Haitian. They took our names, bro, and gave us these. They took these names and gave us these names. Now why would you do that? Why would you why would you just call us what we are? Because if we find out who we are, we're gonna change. Right. When you find out who you are, you repent. Guess what? Your brother ain't no real nigga no more. You stop talking to him like that. Right. You start you start smoking dope like you were smoking. I used to smoke dope all the time. I smoke much weed. All through college, I smoke weed. All playing professional ball, playing overseas, playing the NBA. I smoke weed. You understand? Then I learned the truth. I was like, yo, I got to put this down. It's destroying my body. Because we the children of God. This is what they want to keep you from right here. Right. That's why God said, read it again. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 15. Watch this. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. So you're going to leave the name I gave you, Israel, for a curse. Guess what? African American, that's a curse. Right. West Indian black, that's a curse, bro. Haitian, that's a curse. Puerto Rican, that's a curse. These are all curses. Come on. 
and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. But the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. So God said he was going to slay us. Look at this. That's how they slew us right there. That's how they slew us. Look at this. That's an Arab man right there. That's a so-called Arab man. Same one on these stores that call you my buddy. My buddy, my buddy, my friend. Hello, my friend. How can I talk to you to my friend? They be killing us! Right now, the Arab man taking a dump in your sister's mouth and gone. Yeah. They all left. They all had something better to do to get this with. Right now, the Arab man taking a dump in your sister's mouths in Ghana. He take the women from Ghana because they're real poor. He get them $30,000, then he take them back to Dubai, take his pants down, and take a dump in their mouth and film it. Make them have sex with dogs. All them 65,000 black women that went missing last year, where they at? Everybody was talking about all the black women that was gone during the COVID-19. When the COVID-19 was at its height, all these black women was disappearing. Everybody trying to figure out where they go. Ain't nobody talking about them now. That's our life, brothers. Wait till God really touch you, because see, the reason many of our brothers uh, don't really like to hear the word of God, because God ain't really touched them yet. When God really touch you, you start like, what a word of God is. What them brothers in purple at, man? Come out of temple. Tell me why this going on in my life. That's why every time stuff going to go real bad in your life, you go to church. Sam, I just need to get up in the holy book, man. I just need, you know, man, I need to get on up to church. Grandma been telling me, man. You know why I've been going through all this. God telling you right here, he going to put this oppression on us till we seek him. You got that Hosea 5, 15? The book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. And I will go and return to my place. So they acknowledge their offense. So God said he's going to go and return his place. God reside in the third heaven. You got three heavens. You got heaven on earth. That's where the white man lives. That's this his heaven. You got the heaven in this sky right here. That's the sky. That's what you're flying through when you're on a plane. The Bible got called three heavens. You got this heaven, that heaven, which is the sky and the space where the stars is. And you got the third heaven. That's a different dimension. That's a different realm. That's what God is. So God said, I'm going to lead the earth. And I'm going to go all the way back to my third heaven where y'all won't see me or hear from me. And do what? Till they acknowledge their fit. Till we acknowledge that we sin against him. That's what God wants you black folks in, in Jackson to acknowledge. You got to acknowledge, you know what? I have broken God's commandments. Right. I was a wicked dude. I, like me, I can admit it. I was a wicked, evil dude, bro. I did my wife wrong. I smoked a lot of dope. I cheated a lot of people. I spoke evil of a lot of brothers. I lied a lot growing up. I used to lie all the time just for no reason to lie. We have to admit that. God said, if we don't admit that, when you call on him, when you're really going through it, he's not coming. That's what he's telling us. Because that's what a father do. You a father? When you really get on your kids, like you don't whoop your son and then right after, oh, baby, he's going to be out. You don't do that. You whoop him and then you leave him there to think for a minute. Like, don't ever cross me again. Don't ever disrespect your father. That's how God do the same thing. So you left five, 20 minutes or maybe a day. You left for one day and then you come back and you ask him, did he learn his lesson? Or she heard she learned a lesson. God leave for years, hundreds right. of years. He just leaves, say, I ain't dealing with y'all. What you think during that whole time of slavery? You think God was sitting on his throne the whole time we was in slavery? Yeah. Why he wasn't hearing our ancestors? This right here, read it again. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense uh -huh. and seek my face and their affliction. They will seek me early. Every time somebody gets shot, what people say, Jesus, Lord, Every time we find out a family member died, what's the first thing we say? Lord Jesus. Every time. You know why? Because the Bible tells you every time we go through it for being disobedient, we're going to call on the Father. Right. All of us, even people that say they don't believe in Jesus, say Jesus Christ when something go wrong. Right. You ever heard that? Right. Dude say he ate this. I don't believe in God. Let somebody shoot at his car. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought you didn't believe in God. Right. Now you're calling on Jesus. God said he know us. He know he got to put us through something right. so we'll listen to him. Right. When we got money, when we doing well, when we living good, we say, hell with God and that Bible. I want to hear that Bible. I'm going to do me, my nigga. I made money. I'm self-made. Okay, you self-made. But who gave you the breath to get up this morning? Bring it out. We always forget that. Oh, I'm self-made. Oh, God gave you the strength to get that wealth. Right. 
Right. God gave us the strength to get the stuff we got. But every time we get good, get a little money, enter some taxes come in, hit a little lick, we forget about God. Right. We go right back to the old stuff we used to do right. before we learn truth. That's why he say, read it one more time for him. Till they acknowledge their offense and seek my faith. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense uh -huh. and seek my faith and their affliction. They will seek me early. Now this ain't talking about everybody on the planet Earth. God ain't worried about everybody on the earth, bro. Right. I know that's what we've been taught. God ain't worried about what the other nations is doing. His concern is us. Right. His whole concern is us and us being disobedient. That's why the white man rule. This white man rule, the Arab man get along, come over here, get along, own a store. But me and you been living in the hood our whole life. We can't get no store in the same neighborhood. Right. You ever ask yourself why? Why when the police pull us over, we automatically a threat. They, think about it. Every time the black man do something, oh, he must have been smoking weed. Oh, he's a thug. Young black man gets shot down in the streets. White people go on his Facebook to see him smoking weed five years ago and say, see, he was a drug dealer. That's why he deserved to die. Right. Mike Brown, they did that. George Floyd, they did that. Tamir Rice, they did that. Every black man gets shot down unjustly by the police. They go find his Facebook page to justify why he got shot. Right. Hey, a black man right here in Jackson just got sentenced for 124 years. He apparently sold a little white boy some fentanyl. You know what fentanyl is, right? It's an opioid. He sold his white, white boy some fentanyl. The white boy took too many of them, overdosed, died. He did 124 years right now, bro. 24 years old doing 124 years. He'll never see the light of day again. Why against us? God tell us it's because we've been disobedient. Right. We his chosen people. Amos 3 and 1. 3 and, three and 1 real quick for the brother. Watch this. I got I to gotta prove what I say. That's right. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Now remember, the whole Bible talking about the children of Israel. He said, I'm, he said what? Read it again. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. He's talking about us, the children of Israel. He said, hear my words when I'm speaking to y'all. What did he say to us? Read against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known. Now God know everybody. You only have I known. Now the white man can have a personal relationship with God. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. You know what God said? That ain't to everybody. It's talking about us. He said, I'm gonna punish you because I only knew you. I gave you my commandments. I told you what righteousness was, and you forsook that. That's why God's so angry with us now. Right. He made us royalty. We spit in his face. Guess what? When we kill our brothers in Jackson right now, when we celebrate Christmas and Easter and Thanksgiving, which is not of God, these are man-made white man holidays that he taught us. Right. And we go out and spend our hard-earned money just to tell our kids that a white man brought them the gift. You bust your ass to buy him the gift, and then you tell him, oh, Santa Claus brought you that. What? Right. Bring it up. How he get credit? Same thing on Easter. Easter, you get him, you buy them the Easter basket and say, oh yeah, that's from Jesus. White Jesus. Come on, man. Why they get all the credit for what we do? Why? Who taught us that? They taught us that in church when they gave us that false image. Right. This right here, this the devil. Right. Right. That's Satan. Right. Right. But they disguise Satan as a white man because they know through slavery they taught us that white was superior and black was inferior so when we see this we say that must be god god must be here no that's the devil right there the bible called that the image of the beast the mark of the beast come from that image we worried about a microchip going in our hand the mark of the beast is not microchip the mark of the beast is the roman catholic church the mark of the beast is the baptist church show me one show me Show me one Baptist in the Bible outside of John the Baptist. Right up. He was the only one. The white man named Joseph Smith took that, and John Smith took that and made a religion out of it. You got Pentecostal. Pentecostal is a holiday in the Bible, a high holy day in the Bible. The white man named Charles Parham took the word Pentecost, which means 50th day. He took that and made a whole religion. 
Now, what black fem black men and black women right here talking about some I sell a Honda, I some I a Honda, I done caught the Holy Ghost. That ain't what you're doing. Right. That's called glossolalia. They teach them that in school, and then they come into the church and say it, and then black folks say, I got the Holy Spirit. I can speak in tongues. Okay, you can speak in tongues. Get black folks out the ghetto then. Right. You can speak in tongues. Go get our brothers that's in Ukraine that's stuck on the battlefield because the white man won't let them out. We talking about pray for Ukraine. You know the Ukrainians oppressing our black brothers over there. Won't let them get on buses. Won't let them get on trains. Right. Now nuclear weapons flying all over their head and they duck down like this because the white man won't let them out. Won't give them transportation. That's how messed up we is. That's why God said, read it again. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. The Lord said, I'm going to punish you. I got to punish you. That's what slavery is. My sister, haven't you ever wondered why we went in slavery? Like, come on. The Arab man ain't went through no slavery. The white man, the Chinese man, they don't go through what we go through. Right. We the ones that go through here. Our mama's crying. All these young kids get killed. Little 12-year-old girl got killed just a couple hours ago in Jackson. Her mom and dad is somewhat crying. Why us? Why is always us? God telling you why. We his chosen people. Yes. We the greatest gift to this planet Earth. But we deny God. So God said, you deny me? What did he say? My people destroyed for what? A lack of knowledge. You heard that before? My people destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You heard that before? Give me that Hosea 4 and 6. Yeah. Look at Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. That's That's right. Right. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So God said his people destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's this black people. Our people right here in, in Jackson. We destroyed for a lack of knowledge. We don't know the truth. Right. And the pastor don't teach us the truth. He just take our money. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. He said, but since you reject my knowledge, meaning when the truth of the Bible come out, many black people don't like to hear it. When we start showing brothers, you can't smoke no more. You got to change your life. You got to marry that sister if you're going to have sex with her. If not, let her go. Until you find a sister that's right in the mind, that want to keep God's commandments. Then you lay down with that sister, marry that sister. You understand? But a lot of black folk, when they hear that, our people, when they hear that, they're like, man, hell no, nah, I ain't changing my life. Not for no book. Who wrote that book anyway? That's the first thing they say. Okay, who wrote that book? Oh, now it's who wrote the book. But you don't ask who wrote the manual in your car. Your right. car break down. You go in the manual to try to find out, damn, what a jack at? Right. What, what a crowbar at? Right. How, how I'm attaining the time. Right. <laughs> don't nobody ever ask who wrote that book. But when it comes to the Bible, and we start showing what the Bible said about us and how we're supposed to change, people say, where you get that from? Where that book come from? Who wrote that book? It's been rewritten. The white man wrote that book. Anybody that say the Bible is a white man book, they've never read it. Right. The Bible full of black people. Right. The whole Bible talk about black over and over and over and over. That's right. That's why the Bible say what? Jeff for our what? Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shall be no priest to me. You know what it mean? That thou shall be no priest to me? We was put on this earth to teach everybody God's commandments. The God that sit in heaven gave us the commandments to go out and teach our people. But we don't do it. We rather sit in the pool pit and lie to our people for financial gain. God is against that. These pastors that's robbing our people, God against that. That's why stuff always come out about pastors. He molesting this person. He's sleeping with that person. He's stealing. His bed is going out of, out of bed. He in jail for his story. She's like, man, all these men of God? I thought these was men of God. Everybody that, everybody that learned about them always find out some evil about them. Because they're not doing it for what the Bible says do it for. Right. They're doing it for the money. Right. That's why God said, I got to reject y'all from being my priest right now. Keep reading. See, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. Because we forgot God's laws, his commandments, right? Read. I will also forget thy children. He said he's going to forget our children. Our children dying. And we sitting up praying to God, Lord Jesus, why? He telling us why. He been telling us why. We sinning. Right. All we do is sin, 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 sin. God said, look, I can't keep letting y'all just do this. I didn't send my son to die on the cross so y'all can just keep just blatantly going against me. I sent him to die so if you did fall short, you can pick yourself back up and change. Right. But we don't want to change. Right. And as long as we won't change, there will be no change in our community. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. 
We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.